What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range, as you can see back behind me. Turned out to be a fantastic day out here, all except the wind. It's calm right now, but it gets to whipping out here, tries to blow all my stuff over, so I've got everything strapped down. But again, it ain't nothing I can't get through to get some testing done. And this one here should be another fun 380 versus 9 mil test. So as you can see, we got the jelly contraption set up with the chrono and two blocks of gel. I am still using this lab radar out here for this one. I'll probably use it for all of them today until I get some feedback from y'all. But anyway, back to the task at hand out here. Like I said, I've only done that one nine mil test in this one. I'll leave some links up above if y'all hadn't seen that. So this one here, we should have plenty of room to check this out. And like I said, what we're doing here is just a friendly 380 versus nine test. It ain't so much as which one's better, which one's more powerful. That's a no-brainer if you've got the same ammo. It's, it's no question about it. But what I want to do is really is just test these out again through some cloth. I don't know that I've tested the, the uh, 9 mil through cloth in quite a while. This 380 I tested through cloth not long ago. And I'll just tell you personally, I'm not a fan of this stuff in 380 at all. The last test I did was zero expansion. I think I've had a partial expansion once before, but it's not even in the consideration for me for a 380 round. But anyway, this one in 3 380 is a 90 grain and with the FTX projectile there here with the insert you can see the box velocity on this is saying 1,000 feet at the muzzle and then for our 9 mil same thing obviously critical defense with the FTX this one of course is a 115 grain you can see there same projectile now these still have the nickel plated cases this was before they claimed that there's a shortage so you still got nickel plating on this one the box velocity on this is saying 1135 at the muzzle and now as far as what I'm going to run them out of here today I'm sure I'm going to get plenty of comments about why I picked this, why I picked that. But what I'm going to use here for the 380 is the LCP Max with the little two and three quarter inch barrel. Yes, it's a short one. Yes, it's given up plenty of performance from these 380 rounds. I preach that over and over and over. Believe me, y'all are preaching to the choir if you come in the comments and tell me I should use a longer barrel. I know that, believe me. But I can tell you for a fact, I don't care what you want to believe, most people who carry a 380 are going to carry something as small as possible that's just the way it is so the lcp max for the 380 and for the nine i'm using my canic meta mc9 with a three inch barrel but this should be a good one either way let's get this stuff set up and let's check out what they can do all right, let's get some speeds on these things. I'm gonna do a five round average from each one, starting with the 380 first. Now I've got this stuff set for a uh, muzzle, obviously, and then we got it for three yards, seven yards, 15 yards, 25, and 50 yards. So anyway, let's see what these five do. Um, now remember the box is saying 1,000 feet per second on these. So let's see how close we get. Got 871, 884, yeah, I've got this thing lined up good now. 855, 875, and 889. So that was all five of them. Let's check out that average. All right, our five round average on that was 875 feet per second, extreme spread of 34 and a standard deviation of 13.3. All right, let's check out the nine mil now. Remember these are saying 1135. Well, let's see how close these actually get. Got 1098, that was 75 yards steel too, by the way. 1098. 1121, 1115, 1109, and 1103, so not quite that 1135. Let's check the average. All right, so our five round average off the nine mil was 1109 feet per second with a 23 extreme spread, standard deviation of 9.1. So average of 1109, if you remember on that 380, it was 875. So you're talking about a 234 feet per second difference in speed, and that's with a heavier projectile. So as far as versus, there's no question who's the winner. As far as what's going to happen in the gel, uh, again, I don't think the 380 is even going to expand. Maybe it will. Um, as far as the 9, I think the 9 is going to do okay. But let's get this reset, and y'all know what time it is. 
All right, y'all, it's over before it started jelly time. I'm gonna put one of each round into the gel, starting with this 381st. Like I said, I don't expect anything good out of this thing. It's probably gonna get good penetration because it's probably not gonna expand. And now watch it make a complete liar out of me. Let's see, hopefully I can put this thing. Y'all know how I feel about this LCP. All right, I think that actually might have went right where I was aiming for. Let's go check it out. All right, y'all, it actually did go exactly where I was aiming, but as you see already, it came out the dog on side. So just looking at the track and the fact that it came out the side, I'm just telling you right now, it didn't expand. There, none of that wound channel looks like any kind of expansion, and that's why it kept trucking and zipped out the side. But I'm gonna try to catch one. I'm gonna try to put another one here and see if we can catch it. If you notice, we're getting the velocities now too. Those lights on top of the chrono was the absolute ticket right there to get these jelly rounds. So I'm really liking that, but Let's see what we get here. I'm gonna try this again. I'm really pressing my luck now. I think I went almost the same place, maybe lower. Let me go check that one out. All right, y'all, we did manage to catch that one. And again, no kind of expansion. These, these critical defense for 380 are terrible. I already knew this, but I just wanted to show it again because I've had more people, why didn't I include critical defense in my top three 380, blah, 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 because they're terrible. That's why I didn't. So anyway, let me try to put these up under. One good thing though, one plus is that LCP will hit both of them rounds pretty much exactly where I was aiming. And we're getting all the readings for the jelly rounds down here. So it, it ain't a total bust by any means. Let's see what this nine mil will do y'all. I mean, it went exactly where I put this thing. This MC9 is fantastic y'all. Let's go see what we got. All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. If it wasn't for that daggone first one from the 380 that swerved out the side right here, y'all would have perfect views of both of them. The second one out of the 380 is right behind this, but it looks nearly identical as far as that wound action right here, but it just didn't swerve and it kept going. You can see it right there. So let's just talk about it there. So the 380, like I said, right there behind the first one that went out the side, you can see this disruption here is just nothing but FMJ style. I know people People hate when I say that, but you can get the same thing from an FMJ. If it tumbles, you get the same thing as this. This one tumbled. I mean, you can see it's sitting here backwards. That was nothing but tumbling action right there. So you got that tumbling action, went in here. The first one, like I said, swerved and came out the side. And then the second one sitting right here at exactly 16 inches turned backwards. So it did absolutely nothing, no kind of expansion. It's just a total waste of money. You know, it, would it get the job done? Of course, it's 16 inches of penetration but an FMJ will do the same thing. I've shown it. It'll do the exact same thing for a whole lot less cost. Now the nine mil on the other hand, totally opposite. It came in here, looks like it expanded here immediately, dumped a bunch of cloth out right there. Nice disruption there, carries on through the block and it's sitting here, definitely expanded. Uh, I'm gonna guess around 13 or so, we'll measure here, but this one got some decent penetration and some really nice looking expansion from what I can tell. So the penetration on them, like I said, this one from the 380 that we kept is exactly 16 inches. And then the one that went out the side popped out at 12 inches but that really doesn't mean anything um, as far as the nine mil it's sitting down there not quite as far as i thought it's actually exactly 12 and a half inches so i'd like to see a little more penetration from that one even but it did meet the fbi minimum if that's what you're looking for Here's your view from the top. Both of these are the 380. This was the first one that pops out the side over here. And then the one back behind it, like I said, that's the one we kept. You can see nearly identical wound tracks. So the other one didn't expand either. I can 100% guarantee you. As you see, keeps on trucking and boom, stuck right there in between the two blocks. And then the nine down here, again, a totally different story. Pretty decent disruption there. Comes through here and then there you see it. Got some pretty nice expansion from what I can tell. 
All right, y'all, let's check out these projectiles. So obviously, no question which is which. Here's your 380. Absolutely no attempt even at any kind of expansion from it. And here's your 9. The 9 actually expanded absolutely perfect. As you can see there, it's basically down to the bottom of the cavity there. So really, really nice expansion from this 9. Very, very even expansion. The little insert was stuck with it on the forward momentum there. So there's that right there. So pretty nice performance out of this 9, I'd have to say. But let's get some measurements on them and see what we got. I can tell by looking at the gel, there looks like absolutely no loss. This 380 started at 90 and it's actually at 90.2. So nothing lost there. The nine started at 115. With that right there, we've got 114.6. If we put the little insert back with it, We've got 115.4, so no loss from either one of them. And then as far as expansion, obviously the 380 has nothing, but we'll get the base measurement anyway. You got 353 and 353 again, and then your length is 493. And then as far as the nine mil, you got 543, 553, and 546. So some pretty nice even expansion on the nine. And there you have it, y'all, the critical defense 380 versus nine mil. Like I say, I've called it versus but it really it was over before it started i mean i already knew it's a no-brainer here especially with this critical defense in 380 because i'm just not a fan of it to, to be honest with you i'm really not a fan of critical defense in general i mean i'm not saying they're bad this didn't do a bad job at all but there are way better options i definitely wouldn't feel unprepared if this is what i had loaded up now if i had it loaded up in this 380 i wouldn't feel unprepared as far as what a 380 is capable of but i certainly wouldn't not waste extra money on these versus an FMJ. All right, y'all, I'm going to call it right there for another little caliber versus caliber test. Like I said, this was a no-brainer. I didn't really do this to see which one was better, more powerful. I didn't do this to badmouth the 380. Y'all know how I feel about it, but that wasn't the purpose. The real purpose, again, was just to test these together in one video, easy to find. People have been asking me, why don't I include the 380 in my best 380 rounds? Like I said, what do I think about the 9 in critical defense? And I don't talk about them because they're just not one of my my favorite rounds in in any caliber like i said they didn't do terrible in the 90 by any means they did a perfectly acceptable job but i've seen much better and if i'm gonna pay a premium price i'm not gonna pay it for a less than premium performance now the 380 on the other hand like i said it's absolutely terrible period there ain't no excuses to be made for it there ain't no if ands or buts it's an absolutely terrible round to run in a 380 it just is there's no sense in paying that kind of money when you can get that same kind of performance from an FMJ at a much lower cost. But let me know what y'all think about the performance you saw out of both of them out here today. Those of y'all who do run them, what do you think about what you saw here? Does it change your mind either way? You still just gonna send them? Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. If you enjoyed the video, as always, reach down and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn them notifications on so you don't miss anything that I upload. If you're doing some shopping, check out them affiliate links down in the video description. If you're shopping through Amazon, hit up my storefront link first. You go right Right through Amazon just like normal after that and anything you buy anywhere on the site I get a kickback from them towards the channel same deal with the axle links if you're looking for some really nice ear pro hit up those links down there and you'll save a pile of money instead of going straight to their site once again I appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel like y'all do I've got tons of really good stuff headed y'all's way so be on the lookout and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and I'll see you soon